Hello friends, welcome to hopefully Thursday's video. Hopefully this one doesn't take me that long to produce <laughs> and finish. Uh, I went on AliExpress. This I ordered this two months ago. Yeah, about two months ago I ordered this. Um, and it is a carousel mold. So it comes with the, the base of the carousel. It comes with the center rod of the carousel. You know, it would go onto that, I assume. Um, or in that hole, I assume. comes with the top of the carousel. And then I think you just attach this, like, with resin or something. I'm not sure. Or it just sits on there. And it also comes with five very tiny um, little horses and in the base is where you put the little horses there's um yeah there's nothing to hold these in at the top so I'm assuming that they just sit in there and they don't attach to the top okay so the plan for these is I would like to put some lights in this carousel. I'm not entirely sure how I'm planning to do that. I think what I want to do is um, have the lights in the base, some of the lights um, outside of the base, if that makes sense. And then some of the lights in the lid so that when I attach this, I can wrap the extra lights that are outside of the base and outside of the lid around the pole. That's the plan. Hopefully it works. <laughs> you know, with me, you never can tell. Anyway, this I'm very much not looking forward to demolding. It doesn't uh, seem to be all that good at stretching and rolling, but you never know. I guess it does roll a little bit, so perhaps. Um, this will probably be a let's throw some alcohol in there and see if we can't get it out easier thing. But anyway, uh, not your own colors, so whatever you saw in the thumbnail is what I chose. And hopefully you actually see a completed project on the thumbnail and not one of those uh, huge fail uh, words written across it. So let's go ahead and get this started. We'll see if it works. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Gloved fingers crossed, okay? All right, let's start.
it's bonus unmolding time. Yeah. Bonus unmolding. I have a cute little feather um, bookmark here. A little bit of extra around this back part. That's okay. Cute. But this is what I'm really excited to demold. This is two pores in one, obviously. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a um a stick shift ball. <laughs> very very pretty. I actually really love the way that it looks in here. It almost looks otherworldly, you know. Like, this is a planet. Yeah? I don't know. Anyway, that's your bonus unmolding for today. Alright, friends. This is cured, but I have noticed a fatal flaw in my plan. And I'm going to give you, like, three seconds to comment down below and tell me what you think the fatal flaw is. Uh, kill me now. Um, yeah, so this is the bottom. And the part that's supposed to come out and wrap around the pole also exits at the bottom. <laughs> that's okay. I think we can make it work. We'll try and make it work. Anyway, let's go ahead and re, uh, remove the top. <laughs> Demold the top. It's beautiful. Um, I was trying to make like a rose gold. <laughs> yeah, that didn't really, didn't really work. But it's a real pretty pink. So there is the top. Oh, I forgot to bring it down. Darn it. I finally got a deburring tool. So I'll have to I'll have to bring that down. Okay, let's demold the base. Very good. Okay. So this is the string that we want to come up and wrap around the pole. There we go. So like this. Yes. Okay. Um, let's try and get this out first before we, because the horses are obviously going to be pretty easy. Oh, okay. Yep. It rolls down real easy, actually. So far, at least. Looks like a, anybody remember those old toy lipsticks that we used to have in the 80s and 90s? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Or, or a push pop. Or one of those lollipops that you pushed up. The push pops were the um, ice cream. Come on. Trying to be gentle because I don't want to rip this. Just loosen it up. It's almost there. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, get this back into shape. Ow. My hand is hurting now. All right. So there's the little midsection for it. Let's see, does it fit? Not really. Oh, there we go. Yep, it fits. So I'll put some, um, we'll use some UV resin for that. And I don't plan on touching the UV resin. So, hopefully this will work. Stray glitter on there. Actually, let's do it like this. There we go. Hopefully, I'm not blinding you guys. It turned out real cute, though. What do you guys think? So far, at least. Turned out real cute. And it looks like we're going to have four four of the LEDs on there or around the pole I mean sorry okay so we've got that and then let's demold the little horsies <laughs> very cute I'm wondering Because they've got these little circles. So I was thinking, I've got my chrome paint pen here. Let's see how these look. With a little mirroring on them. terrible not my favorite but not terrible so we'll go ahead and do that to the other ones and I'm going to do that off camera so you guys don't need to watch me chrome out two four six eight eight more balls <laughs> get your minds out of the gutters people And then I will be back on camera to assemble. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the little pole. Uh, just a little bit of UV resin at the bottom. And this little, hopefully you can see them. Yeah, the little, little holes for it. And we'll attach them that way. Okay? All right, let me finish these off. And then we'll be back. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around. Just a little bit. Okay. I just wanted to see kind of how it would fit on there. All right, now going in with my UV resin. And I'm gonna place my first little carousel horse. Oh, so those fit in there nice and tight actually. Um, so, I mean, if you, if you wanted to make, for instance, one of these in like a generic color, right? Like black or white. And then you wanted to make a whole bunch of horses of different colors 
um, you wouldn't even need to glue these in. They're nice and tight in there. So um, that way you could change out the colors. Like if you wanted to have some that have spring colors, so you could display it in spring, or Christmas colors for Christmas, you could totally do that without gluing these in. So I'm not even sure that I want to glue the rest in. I'm not even sure it's really worth it. You know? Because, yeah, they're, it's in there. That's with no glue or anything. Um, I will say that when I filled up the, um, the molds for these, I did not fill them to doming level. Because I knew from past Megan's mistakes <laughs> that... You know, these would only fit in there if they were smaller than that. Okay. So we've got the horsies on there. This I am going to glue on, obviously. So, I'm going to get my UV. What the heck? Oh, my phone just fell. <laughs> All right, get my UV resin. And I'm just making sure that this line is good on there. And I'm lining it up as best as I can. I think that's pretty good. So, I'm going to secure that, and then I'm going to take the little plastic thing out of the lights, only to find out that they probably don't work. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be my luck? I think if I were if I were to do this again. I would still use the lights, but I would only put the lights in the base part. I think that's how I would do it. Um, and I'm sure that the light would hopefully travel through the resin to the, um, to the top. But we will see. Okay, that's good and on there. So that's what it looks like. Not as cute with the silver, uh, you know, going around it, but let's do it. Should we, um, should we, un uh, turn off these lights first? Let's do that. Yay! Um, yeah, the top section doesn't work. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's because I broke this one. This one was broken. Oh, oh, wait. I wonder if I could fix it with UV resin. Let's see. Should we try it? Nope. <laughs> it just came apart. That's great. Alright, well, that's okay. Let's, um, let's take the ones that aren't glued in out. And we will, look, didn't I tell you? We will unravel this. And we will just cut it off. Because I'm good at a lot of things, but I don't think I'm good enough to fix that. Where's my scissors? 
Okay, now let's put these back in. It's a little lopsided because of the wire, but that's okay. But there you go. It's very cute. Um, the light doesn't travel to the top. I guess if you're looking down at it, it does, but it doesn't. Um, and you can see the wires in there. Not a total fail. Uh, the mold did what it's supposed to do. And it assembled very easily. And it's very, very cute. I need to touch up my chrome because I got my fingerprints all over it. But yeah, anyway, that, my friends, is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new, stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.